Hello, welcome back. I hope everybody is safe and well. I'm here today to share with you all of the projects that I've been making with the Make a Splash collection by Rosie Studio. I've been making a bunch of creations with this collection and I just thought the easiest way to show you them all would be to come on here and just show you them one by one. Especially since a lot of them are 3D projects and they're quite hard to photograph I find. So the first one is this 3D suitcase. You might have seen this before, I feel like I might have already filmed some kind of project share with this or put it up on my Instagram but I have filled it with goodies so there's a little shaker pocket down here and then it's got all of the silver stitching around the edges and it opens up hoping nothing's gonna fall on me when I open it up opens up like so and then I have decorated the inside of this part this was done on a live so I'll link that down below for you if you're interested in seeing that then in here I have got a little bottle of sequins in here is a little note so it's like a message in a bottle this was suggested by Zoe who is Sobo Crafts so definitely go and check her out she has some fantastic ideas Next up in here is this little memory decks bag. I have put some treats in here. So this has got some Fox's party rings in it at the moment, but you could put whatever you like in these. So let me mind this out of the way. This one, I have made a charm with all sorts of beads and tassels. I've got a little mermaid on there, a little shell, a little glitzy one there. All sorts of things on the charm. It's really chunky and dangly and I love it. Then I have got the memory decks bag itself. I have a tutorial for this if you'd like to see how to make it. And I've just used a bunch of different ephemera pieces and stickers and all sorts from the Make a Splash collection. And then I've got a little bit of this Hobby Lobby ruffle trim down the bottom. And on the back I need to add my little made by sticker but you get the general idea. So that's the first project. Next up inside this little case on this side is this altered frame again I made this on a live with all different Rosie Studio pieces and this is just an old one from Primark the actual frame and it's been in my little to make to alter box forever so I'm glad to get that one out of my stash and then finally in here I've just got some packs of embellishments so this one has two little shaker envelope embellishments that we decorated on a live this one has some circle embellishments, two decorated by me and two plain for whoever receives this. And then this one is full of rosettes. So I've got one completely plain, but they're all stitched. And these two, these stickers from the Rosie Studio sticker sheet fit perfectly. So I've put them on a little bit of tulle and then just hot glued them on the top. So whoever gets this can either cover them up or use them like that. But I thought they were super cute. That's everything in this little mail. I'll just put it all back where it goes. Next up is this shaker box. This is full of embellishments. I saw Cat Paper Love make a little box like this and I just had to give it a go. So this is a box that I have recycled that I got some note cards in. I keep these boxes all the time and I've never known what to do with them. So I'm so happy to have like a standard idea. I'm gonna turn them all into shakers. This has one of the paper ruffles down here, one of the glitter word stickers, die cuts, these little jellyfish, a little bow, this vellum sort of seaweed piece in the background. I absolutely love this one. And I've actually added some confetti into the shaker, which I think makes a nice change as well. Then in the actual box, I've got all different kinds of crinkle paper and these little glittery white and silver balls. I've got a message in a bottle of sequin mix which was suggested by one of my lovely followers so thank you Zoe for that idea. I have got one of the little envelope shakers. I have got two of these prize ribbon type embellishments. I'm hoping that shows you well enough. I don't want to forget where they all go. And then two of these circle shaker embellies as well. So that is everything in that little box. And then on the back I've got my little made by sticker, but I won't show you that because I don't want everything to fall out. Next up is my absolute favorite project. I made this as a last second thing on a live and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna have such a hard time giving this one away. So this is a little paper rucksack. 
I used, I'm pretty sure it was Bambi's Mail Tutorial, so I will link that down below for you. This is just full of sweets. <laughs> I've absolutely packed it with little packs of Haribo and things. But there's a shaker up here. I've got this little piece that's all stitched at the top. And then this sticker on the front. It's pretty simple, other than all the stitching and things. But it's just so pretty. I absolutely love everything about this one. And you could definitely fill it with embellishments or whatever you wanted to. It's just Velcroed at the top there. Get rid of that piece of glue. And then, like I said, this one's full of sweets. But you could definitely fill it with whatever you want to. So that's the next one. And finally, I have a bunch of things that fit into a flat mailbox. So in the UK, if you can fit it into a box which is 2.5 centimetres high, it counts as a large letter. So I personally count that as flat mail. So these bits were designed to fit inside this box. This is just a little pot of sequin mix and I've added one of these epoxy stickers on the top on top of a little circle die and some a little word sticker and a little heart punch out. This bow has been in my stash for a while and I thought it matched perfectly so I'm going to send this one in the same mail. This little book I've got a process video for on my YouTube channel. The actual book inspiration came from Craft Purge so I'll link her down below as well. I've got a little sequin shaker, all of these different ephemera pieces from the Maker Splash collection and then inside here I have a selection of embellishments, so I've got this little bottle cap piece, prize ribbon, mini envelope embellishment shaker and then these circle shakers as well. And they're just all on top of some different coloured crinkle paper and these little styrofoam balls. Next up in here is this little shaker gift bag. I've got some little treats in here but you could fill it with absolutely anything you wanted to. This one was using the basic idea from Christiane and then I messed with it to create a shaker element rather than just a clear one. So I've got a tutorial up for this and I will link Christiane's as well. I absolutely love this one. So it's just a little clear bag. This one I have made particularly thin because I wanted it to fit in the flat mail box but you can make it any size that you want to. This one is perfect for the little treats that I want to include. And then finally I have got this little frame which we altered on a live so I will leave that link down below for you as well if you'd like to see that one. That is everything that I've made so far with the Make a Splash collection. I will be sure to come back and show you if I make anything else because I'm sure I will. I am in love with this collection. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll be notified when I post more crafty videos. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!